Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh Show 6. This is my tutorial on how to crack web using Jarek's Wi Fi Cracker with Backtrack 5. Uh, Jarek's Wi Fi Cracker is as close to automated web cracking you can get out of the box with Backtrack 5. Uh, you can install any other ones, such as my favorite was uh, Grim Weeper, which came with Backtrack 4, or Spoon Web that came with Backtrack 3. Um, those, in my opinion, were a lot easier, a little bit more automated than Jarek's, but this is working out of the box with Backtrack 5. Um, you're going to need two things before you start. You're going to need a compatible wireless injection card and, of course, Backtrack 5. I'm booting off of VMware right now inside of Windows. Um, if you're going to use the VMware, it has to be a USB injection card. Um, if you're going to boot off of USB or DVD, it can be your internal. I'd say if you're using a laptop, it could be your internal card or anything else um, as long as it supports injection. So to get started, you're going to go to your Applications, Backtrack, Exploitation, Wireless, WLAN, and Jerex, Wi-Fi Cracker NG. Okay, so this is Jerex. Go to the Configuration tab. Click on your interface and click Enable slash Disable Monitor Mode. And this is going to bring up a, it's going to start a new virtual interface which you can inject with and capture your IVs here mine is Mon0 now um, set random ac address if you need to uh, some of you are going to have to do that and here's the scanning portion it's basically a front end for arrow dump so I'm going to scan all channels for five seconds alright so there's a list of access points mine unfortunately didn't come up I know it's on channel 6 so I'm going to try that um, it's kind of close to me, so it might take a while to scan. Here we go, skidhacker.com. Okay, so now that you've selected your target, go to the web tab. And as you can see, there's also support for WPA and fake access point. Click start sniffing and logging. And it's going to open up a arrow dump terminal. Uh, just capturing IVs for whatever you clicked in the configuration tab. Uh, there's three kinds of attacks. I haven't see, looked much into the last one, but there's no client and no client and with client attacks. And as I said before, in my old tutorials, I prefer no client attacks just because if there is a client and you're injecting and they go offline, then your injection stops there. So I prefer no client. And I compared these two also. I prefer Chop Chop for low signal because it parts together the XOR file which will generate a forge R packet it parts it out together a uh, little by little fragmentation if you're close enough it'll just capture it and save it right there um, so we're gonna start here with fragmentation since my signals pretty good lower is better so I'm gonna do a fake authentication as you can see here we're open we're available to communicate with the access point fragmentation attack and this is what I'm talking about here because there's low signal I mean, there's good signal. There we go. It got the XOR file. So now we're going to generate that Forge R packet with the next tab. And it's done. Uh, R packet created. And now we're going to inject it with the last tab. Okay, so as you can see, my packets per second is about 100. My IVs are going up. I'm sorry, my packets per second is 500. My IVs are going up. Um, we don't need this one anymore. We already created it. These are the only two we need right now. Um, we're going to need about... They recommend more than 5,000, but I go to 20,000 just to be sure. Okay, so while we're waiting for the uh, IVs to get to 20,000, I want to talk about um, skidhacker.com really quick. Uh, Skidhacker.com was started by me, Josh VO6, and Kivy12K. Um, I kept in touch with Kivy over time. Uh, we make similar video tutorials and we get a lot of questions every day. Uh, people that need help. And sometimes we can't get to all of y'all. So we made Skidhacker.com uh, just to help new hackers like you or anyone else who's interested. Uh, we have a store that we sell uh, compatible injection cards. Um, bootable Backtrack 5 USBs, even, we even sell hosting, 
Um, there's a tab there. There's a there's a category there for assistance. So we will we'll help you out. Um, you can call it through Skype. We'll team view you guys to control y'all's computer and help you all out. Uh, email. I'll even give out my phone number if you guys need help. Um, and there's also a live chat option. Just there's all these options there to find for for ways of y'all to get to us. Um, there's an open forum there. And there's also WPA cracking, where we crack, uh, you just send your captured handshakes and we'll crack them for you. Um, so yeah, just check that out. There's also a donate button there on the homepage. If we've helped you out in any way and you would like to donate, we very much appreciate it. So yeah, just check out the website. And if you have any suggestions, I'm, I'm open for anything. So yeah, so we're about 13000 right now. I'm going to wait till it gets about 15, actually. And go to the cracking tab. Alright, so when it gets to about 15,000, you can stop injecting. And you can stop capturing. Okay, so now just click on air crack and G decrypt web password. And it's going to attempt to crack the web key here. and key was found 0000000 C0E and for some reason they get stored in a database here I don't know why you need that but um, once you get used to this and once you have everything configured you can run through it fairly quickly like so and right there you're already injecting so yeah, that's my tutorial on how to crack web using Jerex Wi-Fi Cracker with Backtrack 5. Um, if you need any help, check out our website, skidhacker.com. And get to me through the assistance tab. Uh, there's like four ways you can get to me. I'll respond pretty quickly and help you out. So yeah, and check out our forums, our store, uh, our web cracking service. I'm sorry, WPA cracking service. And if you have any suggestions for the website or any suggestions for future tutorials just get to me. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye.